On February 2, 2023, an officer responded to a residence in reference to a bond violation in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. A neighbor reported witnessing 51-year-old Randall Creveston leaving out the front door of a home contrary to his bond conditions. Dispatch advised Randall has an open case in which a condition of his signature bond is to have no contact with the resident of that home. They also stated he had an active DOC warrant for his arrest. Police arrived in the area and located Randall walking on the road. As an officer exited his squad car, Randall began walking swiftly away from him. Randy, Randy, what? come over here. I didn't do anything wrong. Come on. Go get him. Good guy there. Hey, he's running from a cell phone. Running cell phone. Ooh. Randy, I'm gonna fucking shoot you if you don't stop. He's coming up to Gala. Stop. You got a warrant. Stop. You've got a warrant. I'm going to tase you, bud. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. As they got a hold of him, he continued to actively resist, forcing them to deploy their taser to gain compliance. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay, on your chest. I can't breathe. Yeah. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm, 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 I'm going to tase you, bud. You're getting Stop. tased. Stop resisting. Come on. I can't breathe. He's resisting. I can't breathe. I'm not resisting! Keep oh. the hands behind your back. Hands behind oh. your back. Oh. Oh. I'm not resisting. Here it goes. Yep. I'll I cover him. If he moves, hit him again. Yep. I can't breathe. If you shut the van, he wouldn't be out of breath. I didn't do anything. I told you you had a warrant. Come on. For what? DOC. DOC? I got it. For what? Oh, it's at headquarters. He's in custody. Taser deployed. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, sit up. Oh, oh, oh. Tuck your leg in. Oh. On your feet. Oh. Here. Oh. In your pocket, sir, cut me, poke me. Oh. No knives, nothing like that. Why are you tasing me? Because you're resisting. resisting. I was not resisting. I got out of the ground. I was not resisting. Oh. 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 We're outside of 3310 Gala. Switch sides with you. Separate your feet. Is there a squad coming? Whatever, whatever squad is coming, have them come and lock, here, lock your car up. What do I have a warrant for? I told you, the Department of Corrections. For what? I don't know, a probation violation. Yeah. Probably going over to the house yeah, you're not supposed down. to go to. Over and, over and over and over. I it paid for it. Not. It is not. I paid for it. Yes, it is. It's not your house. It is my house. Ten four. If you wouldn't I mind going to the Ristler's locker mat on Seymour and just locking up my squad. Yeah. Well, why do I have? A warrant. Okay. Huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it one more time, and if it doesn't get through your skull at this point, then there's nothing we can do to help you. You have a Department of Corrections warrant that's your probation agent issue. We do not understand or know what the circumstances of that warrant that's is, but it was issued. You don't have to ask anymore because we don't know. Can I see the warrant? Nope. 
Just go, you have a warrant, but you won't tell it. Shut up. Now you tell me to shut up. Spring to the back. Trying to remove the prongs. Getting up against the squad, Randy, you gotta pull the prongs out of your back. When he was asked to sit in the warmth of the squad car, he said he didn't want to because he defecated in his pants. Good? Yep. All right, have a seat in here until the EMS gets here. Oh, I shit my pants, bro. Yeah? Do I have to sit down? Yep. Well, if you got shit in your pants, you can actually stand up right here. Stand where it's warm in the door. Here, get your other foot out. Okay, get close to the door where you're warm. Is that better? Oh. I can imagine. No sense of running from us. You could have just dealt with it and everything would have been fine. Now you get resisting. What was going on? You see us and I, I tell you to stop, I have to get out. That means don't run away from me. That's yeah. exactly what that means. You didn't tell me. I did too. I'm sick of this falling around. You don't happen to have an, like, an envelope or a bag in your car, do you? Do, do you want to stand with him for just a second? Yep. Can you just check and make sure that's accurate? I don't know why I would have a warrant for anything. I don't know. Yeah, we've got it being sent and confirmed right now. And irregardless of the entire thing, if an officer tells you to stop, then he you stop and you can't stop. run. He's I told you to stop at least twice, and you continued to go. I told him to stop before you even arrived. Yeah, I told you to stop as you were jumping over the snowbank at Ristler's, so... We give you every opportunity to surrender yourself in a peaceful manner. You chose violence, so... Violence? Resisting. Active resistance, the threat thereof, and it's violence. Just for the probe socket thing, there was blood on it. Got it? Yeah. Number 110 headquarters. Do you have an ETA for EMS? You good with him for a second? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go grab my spot then. Yep. Hello, this is Randy. Randy decided he would run from us. Okay. Yeah, we'll have somebody ride with him. He's in custody, so we can't He's just let him go. Yeah. Okay. How about that? We'll walk over to the ambulance. Is that okay with you? Alright. How do you feel on your feet? I want to walk with him so I can park. Yeah. No, Justin did. Yeah, uh, Justin got out of his car there. They're like running over snow I'm like, what that? I got my spot. I can run there. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Officer Groyle with the Eau Claire Police Department. Did you call about uh, Randy Creveston? Yep. Okay, what what was going on or what did you see? Um, well, he's just over at my neighbor's and um, he's not supposed to be. When I was watching across the street, um, he had left on foot with a big backpack but it might have been, I don't know if it was his backpack, I think. But he uh, he's not supposed to be there. Okay, how did he get into the trailer, do you know? Um, I'm guessing he just walked in when she was sleeping. Okay, did you see him at all? Yeah. How did he leave the, uh, uh, how on, did he leave the on place? On foot. Uh, did he just go out the front door, out a window? Or? Yeah, he went out um, the front door, because he's not there. She's not she's there. Not. Yeah, she left because he's not supposed to be there. But you know, you know who he is. You're familiar with what he looks like, and you know that yeah, the person yeah. leaving was Randy. Yeah, it was. Yep, it was him. Okay. Yeah, we caught up to him. We were just trying to figure out uh, if he had like broken into the house or if probably no, went he in. He probably went in, um, but she, you know, if she was sleeping and she didn't have it, because she uh, changed the locks on the door. Like this is probably I don't know how many times she's changed these locks, but right. Uh, but you know, you know, with confidence, he's not supposed to be there. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's all we need from you. Thank you very much. Go over to the first car here. Randall was charged with felony bail jumping and misdemeanor resisting an officer. He was released the following day on a $1,000 signature bond. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com and check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't disappoint.